In a bold move, Mercari is eliminating selling fees. What is up, Galaxians? Welcome to a special episode of the Galaxy CDs Rocks and Flips Reselling Talk Podcast. My name is Ryan, and uh, we're here to talk about a absolutely massive announcement that popped up this morning from Mercari. News updates. So Mercari uh, is essentially eliminating selling fees entirely. This is just absolutely wild. Uh, this article is on Modern Retail, and I'll go over the actual changes to the verbiage on the Mercari Terms of Service as well. But Mercari eliminates selling fees, heightening competition with ThreadUp and Poshmark online marketplace. Mercari is offering zero selling fees starting Wednesday. That's today. As I record this, this goes into effect uh, as I sit here in exactly nine minutes time. Uh, this goes into effect at 8.30 a.m. Eastern today, Wednesday, the 27th of March. The company previously, as you're well aware, if you sell there, charged a 10% flat commission for every sale made on the platform. That fee was charged to the seller. Now, Mercari is choosing to eliminate that fee entirely for sellers. They are also, in addition, uh, updating their return policy, which we'll get into in the past. All sales on Mercari were final. Now, secondhand shoppers can initiate returns and get a refund within three days for any reason. I did not see that actually in their terms of service. They do mention it in their update, but their terms of service still says the same requirements on return. So we'll have to see about that. Mercari says they will deduct a service fee from the refund, which will vary depending on the multitude of factors, but can be as low as 5%. Uh, Mercari's CEO, John Lagerling, said the company is doing the opposite of raising fees to try to attract higher quality inventory. They want more sellers. Unlike what we talked about a couple of weeks ago, where Etsy is trying to get their seller ecosystem under control and in some cases even downsize it, Mercari wants more sellers. They want more stuff on their site. And they feel like the best way to attract more sellers is to implement zero selling fees. Legerling had said that Mercari had been seeing a lot of sellers turn to social media platforms to sell their products. And, quote, we thought, what do we do to make it obvious to use Mercari for their transactions? We decided that the boldest thing we can do is simply go ahead and abolish the selling fees. So uh, Mercari, if you're not familiar, they allow users to sell and buy products in new and used conditions. They did in December report their highest ever revenue. Marketplace gross merchandise volume grew 10% year over year uh, worldwide. However, in the US, it declined 12%. So they're losing market share in what is the most important market, obviously. Uh, by implementing changes to its fee structure and return policy, Lagerling said Mercari wanted to make selling and buying products easier on the platform. While the buyer service fee can be as low as 5%, Lagerling said it will be based on factors like brand, item category, and other specifics around the transaction. So to go directly to the horse's mouth and over here on Mercari, what has changed is... Uh, listing an item is always free on Mercari. Fees are charged when an item sells or when a service is used. The following charts are going to explain the fees on Mercari. There is a service fee. They say, we work hard to make our marketplace a vibrant and secure shopping experience. Starting March 27th, 2024, when you make a purchase, a service fee will be charged. So you as a buyer are now going to be charged a fee, which apparently will be as low as 5%. But it's not a flat fee like the previous 10% selling fee. The amount of the fee will be displayed as part of the final price of your item on the checkout page. This fee is charged to the buyer and may not be refunded depending on the reason for a return. So fees are not going away, of course, on Mercari. They gotta make money, but they're transferring essentially those fees from sellers now directly to buyers. So essentially a buyer premium, like you might have at an auction or whatever, an online auction where you pay an extra fee as a buyer for the right to purchase the item. Really interesting. Seller fees, effective March 27th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, which as I said, is just a few minutes away as I sit here and record this. The selling fee for new listings will be 0%. 
Note that listings created before 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time on March 27th, 2024 will be subject to the old selling fee of 10% of the item price when a sale is completed unless the listing has been updated on or after that date. I've got like 8,000 <laughs> items currently listed over on Mercari. I'm not going to go through and manually update 8,000 items to account for this. So if you have a lot of listings, you are going to still pay your 10% fee on those listings unless you go in and make an adjustment to them for essentially forever. Any new listings that you create after today, however, will have zero selling fees. So this could have obviously a very, very long transition period if you are, like myself, a seller with a lot of inventory and a lot of long tail inventory. Unless you delete all your inventory and then relist it or go in and make edits to all those, the old fee is going to apply. So let's be clear on that. Items listed before this morning will still be subject to the old structure where the fee will be 10% charged to you as the seller and no fee charged to the buyer. Any listings that you make after this morning at 830 will have no fee to you as the seller, but there will be a buyer fee charged to the buyer. They also note transaction and payment fees. Mercari incurs fees related to payment processing and balance withdrawals out of our system by our financial service partners. Some of these fees are charged to our users. Again, effective March 27th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. Listings created before March 27th, 2024. A payment processing fee of 2.9% plus 50 cents per sale is charged to the seller based on the completed sale price plus shipping of the item unless it has been updated after March 27th. The payment processing fee is only charged on completed transactions. Listings created, again, after 8.30 a.m. today, March 27th, 2024, a payment processing fee of 50 cents plus 2.9% of the transaction price, which includes the item price shipping, the service fee, interestingly, and sales tax will be charged to the buyer, and this fee may not be refunded for returned or canceled orders. So if you order an item and then cancel it, Mercari is going to keep their payment processing fee as, as a buyer. So be aware of that. One other change now as sellers, you're not getting off completely scot-free. Every time you want money out of your account, they're going to charge you. Now, uh, direct deposits completed directly to your bank account in the standard way will now have a $2 fee with them. If you do the instant pay transfer, that fee will be $3. Uh, there are two ways to cash out your earnings. Again, direct deposit effective March 27th, 2024 at 8.30. There's a $2 non-refundable fee per cash out. Once you've added your checking account and have a balance, you can request a cash out to your bank using direct deposit. Transaction is usually processed within five business days. My experience is I cash out pretty much every time I get to 100 bucks on a Monday. I have my money by Wednesday morning. So essentially, if I do that consistently, wait till I get to at least $100 to cash out, I'm going to pay 2% of my total in this fee, a $2 fee. So I think that's it's fairly reasonable. I, I'm, I always have <laughs> uh, personal issues with having to pay to get my own money. But given the fact that I'm not going to be paying any selling fees at all uh, as a seller, this is a win. So the question, I guess, at this point is... I. I completely agree that this will probably attract sellers and uh, potentially attract a lot more merchandise, even from existing sellers. My question is, what will this do to the buyer market? How is a buyer going to feel if they go onto a site and they, they find a book for 10 or $15 and all of a sudden there is an additional whatever $3 in fees, which is what it's going to work out to essentially in my case, my average fee, selling fee on an item, including the transaction fee and the payment processing fee, generally rounded out to about 15% of the item. So if I buy a $10 item now, if I'm going to be charged something equivalent to that, roughly 15%, I got another $1.50. So I think I'm getting an item for $10 plus free shipping, and suddenly it's $11.50 plus I don't know if I would go through with that transaction. You can let me know if you're watching on YouTube in the comments below uh, what you think of this from either side as a buyer or as a seller. Uh, this is going to be very, very interesting to watch. It's also going to be very, very confusing, particularly for buyers going forward if they buy 
let's say, for instance, they buy multiple items, make an offer from one seller who has items that were listed before March 27th and items that were listed after March 27th. Suddenly they have some items that there's a service fee on and other items that there is no service fee on. I feel like maybe it would have been better to just scrap the selling fee altogether and put all the fees directly on the buyer for all items, regardless of when they were listed. Again, you can let me know what you think of that down in the comments below, but this is a, a huge win potentially for sellers with the caveat that I suppose it has the potential to drive some buyers away. We will have to wait and see how that goes, but this is a massive, massive shot across the bow of sites like Poshmark, ThreadUp, Depop, maybe less so Etsy and eBay, but this is a massive, massive change to the way these companies are trying to make money. Let me know again down in the comments what you think of this, but this is big, big news from Mercari. It went to, into effect exactly one minute ago. As I sit here, I'm going to get this thing edited and sent out to you as quickly as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching and listening. And now it's definitely time to sell. You have been listening to the Galaxy CDs Rocks and Flips Reseller Talk podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in and we will catch you again next time.